In this module, we're going to talk about SharePoint Design Pack, uh, Design Manager, and Design Packages. Uh, SharePoint Design Manager is a new concept of SharePoint 2013, and it allows you to package uh, any brand new customizations such as master page, CSS, any artifacts, and display templates as a single package and transfer them over to another publishing site. Uh, so the scenario here would be, for instance, you're creating a design for someone in your environment, then you're giving them a package, and then then they apply that package in their own environment. So essentially, you package the uh, branding without using Visual Studio. Now, the main drawback is that uh, Design Manager is only available to, uh, for publishing sites, so not for team sites and other type of sites. It requires publishing features to be turned on, uh, which is a bit of a drawback, but uh, one, of the main, uh, one of the main challenges with uh, publishing sites is they actually, unlike other sites, do require a lot of heavy customization. So having a design manager is great. Uh, so what we're going to do here, what we have here, is we have two sites, two publishing sites, one of them called Pub1, and another tab here is called Pub2. Right now they're identical. What we're going to do, we're going to um, open the site in SharePoint Designer, uh, Pub1 site in SharePoint Designer, uh, make a customization to a master page uh, to help us identify that that's the uh, master page on the site. And we're going to transfer that uh, whole, we're going to package our customization as a design package and transfer it over to Pub2. And we'll take a look at that process. So I'm going to open my uh, site, Pub1 site in SharePoint Designer, navigate to master pages and I'm going to open Seattle HTML in advanced mode. Seattle HTML is the current site that's used on the uh, Pub1 as well as Pub2. I'm going to scroll a bit of to the bottom here and type uh, basically um, uh, some sort of text that will help me uh, identify that my change has been applied. Um, this is a sample text and I'm going to save this master page. And obviously, in your scenario, you would probably create uh, custom, you know, you would uh, link custom CSS, add your own markup to here, uh, so, uh, and, and, and any sort of customizations like that. For our demo, this is uh, probably sufficient. Uh, so I saved my uh, Seattle HTML, and all the changes have been transferred to seattle.master. Uh, now, if I refresh this site, which is my pub1, I should see a bit of a text right here, right before the main area of the site. And uh, here it is. This is a sample text. Uh, so let's now package this uh, master page along with other artifacts. So I'm going to uh, click on a gear icon and click on Design Manager. The design Manager is also available when you click uh, Site Settings. Under uh, Look and Feel, there is a link to access the Design Manager. Now, Design Manager, um, apart from just allowing you to import the design package and create design package, allows you to also, it's a pretty neat place to access all of the additional uh, configuration settings for uh, device channels, uh, for master pages, the page layouts, display templates, and all of that. So there's lots of shortcuts for you to actually navigate and and, and um, package a variety of different, uh, um, or, or make uh, changes to a variety of different uh, SharePoint artifacts. So in our case, we're happy with everything as things are. Um, obviously, in your scenario, this would be several iterations. You would probably be spending a bit of a you know, a couple of days or a week here. And uh, when you're ready, you would uh, you would create a design package, you would give it a name and click uh, Create. And uh, at this point, the design package is being generated. Now, the design package underneath uh, the framework is using uh, SharePoint Sandbox Solutions. And uh, Sandbox Solutions allow, uh, allow you to um, basically uh, prepackage uh, WSP files or, wind, uh, or SharePoint package files that can be imported to a um, cloud or on-premises environment and, ex and artifacts within the package can be executed. So in here we get the message, your package is ready, click here to download. And I'm just going to copy the shortcut to show you where the package actually is. And the package is on my um, site collection in the solutions gallery. So right now while solution gallery is loading, um, here's my package right here. I can uh, download the package and uh, that's my package right here. So this is what I would give to the client. I'm going to copy the URL because I'm just going to be transferring from one side collection to another. But this is basically the package that I would be uh, giving to the client. If you're interested, 
what's inside the package, we can actually make a copy of this file and rename this to cab because all the package is, is just, just a zip file with a variety of different things, um, a variety of different artifacts. In this case, our HTML file, Seattle master, uh, different um, display templates and lots of other artifacts that would go in into the, uh, into the branding package. So that's, that's all there is to it. Uh, we're going to keep the original WSP file and let's see what's involved in transferring um, this branding to our new site, which is POP2. So you can see POP2 doesn't have any customizations here. Um, what I'll go ahead and do is uh, go to site settings and show you where actually design packages live um, or uh, the solution packages live apart from the design manager. So in site settings, you can see there's a design manager, but there's also uh, solutions. So solutions is where our uh, sandbox or, or, or solution or design package solution uh, will be uploaded once we um, download it through the design manager. So this is just basically to show you where they were to ultimately live, but we're going to go and uh, click on the design manager and uh, take advantage of uh, uh, of the design manager user interface to actually upload and uh, install our package. So right here on the first page, we have up, um, import a complete design package and uh, it'll prompt us for uh, the, uh, uh, the browse icon here in the file system. And I'm going to provide my uh, path to my uh, package and click import. Now this time uh, the package is being uploaded to the solution gallery and it's also being activated. So packages can be uploaded but uh, not activated. In this case, the design manager will activate it for us automatically. So all of the changes will be right away to apply to the site. So in here we got the message that uh, import of the package has succeeded. Uh, so now let's go ahead and uh, click on the home page here of our SharePoint sites pop two and see whether our change has been applied to the master page and it has been so as you can see now we have this is a sample text in both environments if i go back here uh, to my original site this is a sample text um, is also available in pub one and pub two so there you have it that's basically a quick and easy way for you to make your uh, branding customizations using um, a sharepoint designer and uh, and applying all of the branding using SharePoint Designer and then uh, just exporting things using a package without requiring to have uh, uh, without requiring to actually recreating the solution within Visual Studio. Now keep in mind if you do require importing the design package uh, to Visual Studio um, you can do so and uh, so there is a capability for you to open up Visual Studio and then uh, take a design package and actually import it into Visual Studio structure.